A local mayor is being asked to apologize tonight for some controversial comments. The mayor of DeBerry called some neighbors and council members trolls, the peanut gallery, and even jerks at a recent meeting. News 6 reporter Lauren Korn has more on how the controversy could lead to a vote of no confidence. A controversial city council meeting held here tonight as part of the agenda includes a request to the mayor to apologize to residents and city council members for name calling following a motion for a vote of no confidence. I think that he should apologize and, uh, you know, maybe suck it up a little bit and do what uh, people want him to do. People like Councilman Rick Dwyer, who's asking to bury Mayor Clint Johnson to apologize for calling citizens the peanut gallery and trolls at council meetings and say sorry to council for comments such as you suck and you are all jerks. Behavior that Dwyer says has been addressed by council twice before and believes a vote of no confidence is needed. All of these things are inappropriate and I believe he owes the citizens and the council an apology for that but, but a, a Equal concern is what this is going to do to those that might want to move to DeBerry or business that might have been thinking about coming to DeBerry. However, based on Mayor Johnson's website called Mayor's Mailbox, Johnson disagrees, saying, quote, never apologize for fake controversies whipped up by perpetually offended people. Johnson even rewriting tonight's agenda and posting it on the website, calling out Dwyer, saying, quote, it's not your job to parent me. Do whatever you have to do to move past the silly generational divide and focus on city business. I'm 65 years old. I've got 40 years in the business world. I've, I've learned how to get what I want and getting what I want or what anybody else wants. It doesn't happen by calling them bad names. But not all residents believe an apology is in order. What he said may not be offensive. It may just be coming from a place of passion and concern about the community. And his message probably wasn't uh, taken the right way. All we can do is express our displeasure with what he's doing. Now, if he changes, wonderful. If he doesn't, then I see it as well. We've got four other council members that can help drive the city forward. And he can be in that boat with us or in the dinghy that's following behind us. Andy Barry, Lauren Korn, News 6.